Hello, hello everyone. My name is Stacy. I'm known here as Flighty Rambler and I'd like to welcome you to my channel today. I have a haul video for you. I have been holding on to these items to put this video together so that I can share what I've been collecting and I can't wait to show you what I have so I can begin using these items in my projects. The first item I have is a New Brunswick School Series of Canada from 1884. As soon as I saw that date I was hooked. Four dollars they were asking for this gorgeous piece. And as soon as I opened it, I knew I had to have it. Look at the look at the different types of fonts in there. There's regular, bold, italic. I mean, the pages themselves are aged and yellowing and just so yummy. And the signatures are sewn in. I, I am, wow, I am blown away by this particular book and I can't wait to start using it. Although I'm also hesitant <laughs> to start using it because it's such a gem. The next book I have is A Proud Procession, a Canadian parade reader book, originally copywritten in 1947, but this is the 15th edition, which means it was printed in 1966. Soon as I opened it to the first pages, I knew I was going to be taking it home with me because of the size of the type. Look how large it is. It's gonna be perfect for harvesting words and phrases. And the pictures are absolutely stunning. There's um, even a full color picture right there. Look at that, <laughs> isn't it gorgeous? Four dollars, and I loved being able to support my local thrift shop. Now the next item is um, a box of partially, like there's a lot in here, it, uh, basics overhead transparency write on film. I remember these when I was in school, in high school, and the teachers would, that's how they would teach a bulk of their classes is through these transparencies. And I don't know if I bought it for nostalgia reasons or if I'm actually going to use it. I know these acetate sheets are something that people use in making shaker cards. I don't make them myself, but I have seen people using them as palettes and for smushing techniques. And so I'll find a way to use them. I mean, it was a dollar. <laughs> it was a dollar. So I rescued it from the thrift store and brought it home with me. Oh my gosh, you guys, did you see the price? $2.99 for this box of whatever this is. <laughs> I just saw that there was gonna be six, potentially six colors, neon, I'm sold. Uh, it went into my basket and came home with me and now I'm finally getting to open it and wow, I'm not sure what I expected. Um, resin tint art, I don't play with resin. I haven't used resin. So I'm just going to be using this as a regular medium, like a paint or a glue or something. And I was kind of hoping it would be pigment powders. I've been wanting to get my hands on some pigment powders, such as Lindy's Magicals or the Brushos. Um, but I'm really happy to add this to my stash and I can't wait to see if it actually sets. I'm not sure if you have to use this stuff within resin for it to set or not. So fingers crossed I can use it like a regular paint.
And the next two items are some doilies I picked up at my local thrift shop. Look at that price, 50 cents for this gorgeous piece. And I have a couple of ideas of what I kind of want to use it for. I don't know if I want to use it for um, fabric in my journal as a stencil. I kind of want to coffee dye some papers and, and get that, um, use it as a stencil to coffee dye my papers with or tea dye my papers with. And the second one, I couldn't resist a dollar for the pair, a matching pair. These ones I think I will use as fabric in my journals. And um, if not, it's gonna remind me that I do wanna get into embroidery. I have a lot of floss that I really should start <laughs> using up in my projects. I must be a sucker for these $2.99 finds at the Value Village, but a Spirograph set. And I did look at it when I was in the store to make sure I wanted it. And when I saw that it was complete, I decided to bring it home and look at it. <laughs> I, I don't remember if I played with Spirograph when I was a kid. I don't remember if I enjoyed it. I honestly, I have a spotty memory, so these things kind of slip from my memory. So I brought it home and the pens, the pens even work. So maybe it's not all that old after all. Is Spirograph still a thing? This next item I didn't find at a thrift store or at Value Village. I found it while we were going through some of my mom's things. She um, passed away in 2018. And I know she held on to this for a reason. I don't know what the reason is, but I'm going to take it and I'm going to use it. And every time I use it, I will think of her. The numbers are stunning. The paper is to die for and having it in my stash is just gonna you know keep her memory alive <clears throat> $3.99 from Value Village for this bag of goodies and the real reason I purchased it was because I saw a traveler's notebook and the band on it suggested that it hadn't been used and for $3.99 <laughs> I'm gonna get my hands on it and the other things that came in it were just bonuses. There was a, a trio of dowels, wood dowels. I don't know what I'll use that for. Um, and a tin of partially used drawing pencils. Mm -hmm. 
this baby booty knit uh, knitting kit. Um, not sure what I'm going to do with that, but it looks like it hasn't been uh, knitted, so <laughs> I'll maybe put that together or give it away to my sister to try. She likes she likes knitting. And then there's going to be these dye, uh, these pigment ink pads. And I wasn't sure if they were going to work or not, but um, <laughs> getting it all over my finger, oh, it just keeps it just keeps on giving because it's a pigment ink and it's uh, highly saturated and with color. So I get out a baby wipe and um, clean my fingers off, and then just start testing the inks. And then another Recollections pigment ink. This one, a teal blue, gorgeous color, very juicy. Gonna have some great fun with that. Some silver glitter glue. I'll just add it to my stash of glitter glues. some crayons and recently I had watched a video where someone had used the crayons as a resist before they began their project and that's what I'm going to use these for. And here it is, the Recollections Traveler's Journal, $3.99. I mean, you can't buy that at the store. What a find. And it looks like it hasn't been used. It's ready for use. And I've never had a traveler's notebook before. So this will be fun for me to use. Another pigment ink, this time in purple. Mmm. <laughs> And next out of the bag of uh, random items is this set of four stamps. <laughs> if I had known these stamps were in this bag ahead of time, I would have tested all the ink pads with it. But alas, I did not know. And honestly, these stamps are going to get regifted. They're not my style at all. Oh my god you guys look at these brushes i am blown away i'm gonna be totally honest i was on my knees at the value village digging for whatever this was under the bottom shelf like it had been shuffled all the way down and under till it was on the floor underneath the last shelf and i pulled it out didn't know what it was but as soon as i opened it and saw all of these brushes for 6.99 6.99 ladies and gentlemen 
Oh my God, they came home with me and they have been waiting for me to film this video so that I can start using them. Look how many brushes there are. Some are synthetic, some are natural. I mean, wow, wow. I am so happy that I went down on my hands and knees and went looking to see what this was. And that's about it. Uh, we're at the end of the video. I'd like to thank you for watching this video, for giving it a thumbs up, uh, subscribing to my channel. Please leave a comment down below if there's an item you'd like to see me use in my next video. And until next time, bye-bye.